all right guys welcome back to another video and I actually just want to tell you guys a story that happened to me in this tutorial and that is this last night some software came to me it was the biggest software company in the world and they're like Bucky you're the greatest programmer ever so we want to tell you about a program we're making we plan on building a robot that's gonna replace every teacher in school and I'm like okay well what do you want me to do and they're like Bucky we need you to build the brains for this robot so I'm like listen leave me alone I got this so I rolled up my sleeves and I started coding I'm like okay well the teacher needs rules to go by so what are they gonna check for well they're gonna check for if the students studied enough and they're also gonna check if the students beat up kids because that's the only two criteria and what makes a good student so first make a integer variable say int hours studied and for now just by testing we'll put it at like the optimal student studies for 60 hours a week at least now let's go ahead and just write a comment right here beg okay what makes a good student a good student studies for like I don't know 10 or more hours a week and this student just testing um, had studied 60 so that's good now what else do we need to test for? We need to test for how many kids they beat up this week. So int kids beat up and again we're just testing and we'll put zero right now and let me give myself a little space and we'll say the rule for a good student is they have to beat up zero kids. So in order to have a good student they need to study for 10 or more hours and also they need to have beaten up zero kids. I don't think that's uh, you know that much to ask for so now what we need to do is we need to make a simple decision to allow our robot to you know go on something so we can't just use two if statements because we actually need to test all of these in one decision if we're just testing for hours studied or kids beaten up then we would need two if statements but we need to test both of those things together so how do we do that well, we do it like this. In your test, and actually, let me go ahead and write the print first. So we'll print F and just put something like, you are a good student. So basically, like I said, we need to test two things. So how do you test more than one thing? Well, in between your parentheses, give yourself a little space to work with and in the first piece of the puzzle you add the first test so test one now what you do is you add two ampersand signs and then in another set of parentheses you add a test two now what this is gonna say is basically test two conditions if both of them are true and in this case if they studied for 10 more hours and they beat up zero kids print out you are a good student so our studied test if this is greater than 10 actually greater or equal to 10 and for test 2 test if kids be up was exactly equal to 0 or we can even say well that's the easiest way to say it so basically if this is true and this is also true then print out your good student and check it out in this case our kid be up 0 studied for 60 hours so it should print out you are a good student now of course if we have something like okay how many hours did he study well he only studied two hours how many kids did he beat up well we actually beat up nine kids that week so of course if we try to run this it would not uh, run that code because both of these were false and not true now what if you're saying okay well what if he was a really smart kid what if he studied for actually 80 hours that week however he was in a bad mood I don't know maybe uh, something happened to him so he beat up 12 kids well it says okay I'm gonna test this this one is true right here good job you uh, studied uh, you know the adequate amount of time however this is false you beat up some kids dude so what's gonna happen is this is true and this is false so this entire thing is not gonna run because this only runs if both of these tests are true so again, like I said, look at that. Even though he studied it the proper amount of time, he beat up the kids, so that test was false. So again, the point of this tutorial 
And you know what? I have to tell you the truth. No software came to me. That was just an example. But anyways, the point of this tutorial is whenever you want to test more than one condition, then what you need to do is use those ampersand signs. And that means this has to be true and this has to be true. And if so, run this code. And another thing is you can use as many of these as you want. You can put ampersand test three test 4, test 5, just separate all of your tests with these two ampersand signs and what this would mean is this has to be true and this has to be true and this has to be true. If one of them is false then this code doesn't run. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Um, I'm going to go beat up some kids. I'll see you later.